we revise our resumes, we redecorate our homes, we even redo the look of our landscaping. But as we enter our Act 3, just how often do we actually update our own personal style? Tracy McBride is here to tell us that it's probably about time. Tracy is a personal stylist and the owner of T. McBee Image Consulting. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. Happy to be here. So what is a personal stylist? Well, have you ever asked somebody, how do I look in this? Well, they're going to answer that through criteria of the fact that they know you, they love you, and that's how they filter their answer. Mm -hmm. So, as a personal stylist, I'm coming with a little different criteria, <laughs> and I'm helping and because I understand body shape and cu cuts of fabrics and, and clothes and, and how things are proportioned to the body. Color comes into it as well. We want colors that enhance our skin and make us look fresh. So, I'm coming from a whole different criteria than your friend. And you're going <laughs> to tell the truth, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and sometimes the truth can hurt a little bit, but we do it always in a very loving, compassionate way because you're learning, and I come from a very teaching way as well. Okay. And, you know, we've had this look for so long. It's worked up to this point. You know, why do we really have to change? Well, you know, things, things change. We are competing for different positions in our lives, and in a Newsweek, a uh, recent Newsweek poll, 84% of people surveyed said that they were hesitant to hire someone who looked older than their coworkers. And even for women, it's even, it's a little harsher. Um, they want, women need to position themselves to be promotable and to not be looked over mm -hmm. for many different reasons. And well, boomers, can I I'll talk a little bit about boomers? Mm -hmm. We're competing for different positions. We're competing against um, younger generations as well. Of course, yeah. Now, we're still working and we're competing, and then some boomers are retiring and deciding to start something new, on to become entrepreneurs, start their own business. So being modern and fresh and knowing that they're, they're uh, being read as somebody who is knowledgeable in current whatever their field is, mm -hmm. current fresh information. Because our image can stifle that. If we look dated, people assume that our information mm -hmm. could be dated. Okay, yeah, and that's not great if you're trying to start something new. Exactly. Can you give us an example of exactly what you mean? Uh, yes, think of Rod Stewart, all right? Rod Stewart used to live in, in his uh, leotards and <laughs> his shiny lacra, all right? Yeah. Well, he transitioned from that. He has a wonderful wardrobe. It's very elegant and very sophisticated. He's now in his 70s. Um, and a few years ago, he had teamed up with some younger artists and did an album of duets. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, he opened in a completely new fan base, and he's still very relevant, and he's still touring. Mm-hmm. All right, and someone else who's a fashion icon, I'm sure you know, of Joan Rivers. Right. And Joan Rivers, she has um, built a wonderful business. If you have never seen her line on QVC, she has a whole line of fashion uh, clothing, and she has jewelry, and she also had the TV show Fashion Police. So even in her 80s, and her she recently passed away, but it's still, the, all of those businesses are still thriving. She's built a legacy, and all generations know her. I even asked my teenage niece the other day, <laughs> do you know who Joan Rivers is? And she said, of course, and she's 15 years old. Oh my, well that's crossing <laughs> the generations, yeah. Now you've got some style do's and don'ts for us now, so let's start with some of the don'ts. Okay, the, the don'ts. Don't think and don't say, I'm too old for this or that, because you will be, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, or saying something like, I've been doing it for 30 years this way, I don't need to change. And really, we always have room to change. Um, I say, don't wear your cheaters, because many people are we're using cheaters, mm -hmm. on low on your nose, because as soon as you do that, it ages you about 10 years. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. No, it's an instant one. Um, don't get pegged as a fuddy-duddy, someone who always has a different something to say about, oh, we don't do it that way. I don't know why they do it that way. Mm -hmm. Because then assume, again, they will be dated and they will assume automatically that your skills are dated. Okay. And that isn't where any of us want to end up. Well, we want to do the do's then. Yes, do's are, I always like to end with positives. Mm -hmm. And um, you always want to be seen out and about. You want to be involved in your community and you don't want to only hang out with your age group. Hang out with all age groups. There's a lot of networking groups that you can do that with. Um, also, you want to do 
you want to invest and discover what your best power colors are. The color alone, whatever is next to your face, is going to enhance your skin or it's going to diminish it. It's either going to gray you out or it's going to make mm. you look fresh and energized even if you might not be feeling it that, that, that okay. day. So color is really important and it draws people to you. It also elevates your energy. Mm -hmm. And the other do is have a good tailor on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us can't just take it off the rack and have it look perfect. It always needs a little tweak. Do have a modern hairstyle, especially if you're going naturally gray. It's really good to keep it looking modern and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, have impeccable grooming, men and women, being aware of everything from head to toe, grooming. And then do consider investing in your wardrobe, updating it, and investing in an image consultant who can help you come in and a stylist and help you with your wardrobe so you're communicating your goals every day. Fantastic information. Your act three is a new stage in your life, so why not have a new look to go with it? A new look that says you only better. To restate your style, follow Tracy's tips, and for more help, give her a call. The number's next. Learn more about T. McBee Image Consulting by visiting www.tmcbee.com.